Today, we will be using AI technology to get your shots to look just like this. And the best part about it, it's free. All right, look. First thing you gotta do is download Adobe Photoshop Beta, which is version 25.0. This can be found on the Creative Cloud app or Adobe's website. Once you're in the Photoshop, the tool that we will be using is called Generative Field. And the way that it works is pretty simple. You select the area of the image and you tell Generative Field what you would like to place in it. It doesn't always get it right, so have some patience, and most importantly, have some fun. Okay, so that's basically it for the new Generative Fill tool and um, Adobe Photoshop. It's really that simple, and that's what I like most about it. Um, there are a few things that I do want to make note of when you're using this tool. Try to keep it as simple as possible when you're recording, because what you're actually doing is taking a screenshot of the video that you're recording, importing that into Photoshop, and then you're manipulating it to expand it or add to it. So just be mindful of things that's in your shot, like if you have something in front of you, um, just try not to you know, block it with your hand. I mean, just try not to have it blocking your emotion uh, because when you're in Photoshop and you're trying to add in things, um, that could get in the way. Also, just be mindful of your head space and your arm space. Um, I know some people are very animated when they talk and they like to move around. So just keep that in mind because you will be um, expanding on your video. So if you are trying to add a photo right here and your arm is moving past that spot, you may not be able to add a photo right there. And if you're experienced with green screen and chroma key, you pretty much know how it goes. Um, it's pretty much the same thing except for it's a thousand times faster. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Now that we have Adobe Photoshop and we have all the tools that we need to get this done, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna try to record this segment straight through so you can see how easy this tool is to use. I think it'll also um, make for some great content. So I'm gonna jump on the computer and we're gonna get straight to it. All right, let me make sure I'm, my screen is recording. And don't mind me if I'm moving pretty fast. Um, I know time is valuable and those of you that's watching probably don't have a lot of time to, you know, give. So I'm going to be moving through this pretty fast. If you got any questions or anything, just um, type it down in the comments below and I'm, I'm going to be sure to reply back to you. All right. So I just started out with a canvas size that was much bigger than the, um, my shot that I had. I shot this in 4K, so I made the canvas size 6K. Um, the first thing I did, I added the computer desk. Um, added the ceiling, went with the window, sofa, I had to fill the sofa at the bottom, it was a piece missing right there, I don't know if you guys was able to see it, but it's like a little transparent background right there, so I added that, and I also had to fill the ceiling as well, and I could have easily, even if I didn't want to use this, uh, if I didn't want to use AI to fill this little gap, I could have used the clone stamp tool. I could have used the clone stamp tool, and there's also another um, tool that's called. One sec, I don't know why I'm blanking on it. Uh, what's the other field tool? Oh, content aware field. I also could have used content aware field, but I chose to use AI, and it did a great job. It matched everything. So, one thing I want to note about this is. When I added the computer desk, um, I actually wasn't trying to add a computer desk. I was trying to add a computer to the desk, as you can see right here. Um, in the prompt, I, type in, I typed in add computer to desk. But the result that it gave me was capping off the desk and it extended um, the light that I had, which I thought was pretty dope because I didn't even know I needed that and it produced that for me like I was just trying to put a computer here just to block you know so that's one thing that I do like about it um, is pretty much advanced beyond even my thinking I guess it kind of knows what's going on in the scene and it adapts um, its creation to fit what's going on in the scene so I would say start off with something that's that already look good if you're not using a plain white wall or a plain background, start with something that's, you know, kind of what you want. And I think this would do a good job of filling out the rest for you. So that was my first impressions when using it. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. The second thing I want to point out was um, 
adding in, not the ceiling, but adding in these two walls right here, um, it really blew my mind as well because um, I don't think I told you guys this yet, but to actually add in something, what you have to do is select the open area that you want to fill with the uh, rectangle marquee tool and then a box will pop up at the bottom or it will pop up somewhere on your screen and you'll click generative fill and when you click that you could just type in whatever you want um, to fill that area with so I think I put add bay window so let me just put add window um, and see what it creates so it only takes about less than a minute for everything to load up right here maybe like a minute at at most um and you can see the type of results that it produced like this isn't what i would use <laughs> but i mean it would get the job done if you're just looking for something quick um you know you just want to not have a plain white background this will work for me you know what i mean like of course there's still some imperfections you can see certain things within the shop but um it would get the job done because you can go in and use the clone stamp and clean up a lot of these areas and um just make it look a little more polished if that's what you're going for um i wouldn't use this to like produce a film or a, a advertisement or some type of commercial that's going to be that's going to go out and a lot of people will see it but for my youtube videos something quick if I'm just more so focused on the content, but I just kind of want to give you something else to look at besides me, I will use this. I think this would be a great tool if you're in that same category. But um, it's, it's just that simple. Like, it's really just that simple. Just make uh, a canvas in Photoshop that's bigger than the frame that you, uh, the resolution that you shot your footage in. And then you just select all the open spots that you want to fill and you just type in something that works for you you know um and if you play around with this more you will see what works and what don't work and don't get frustrated to begin with because when i first did this um there were a few kinks and there were a few things that i didn't really enjoy um so i may be kind of over exaggerate when i'm saying oh it's just that easy but as you can see it really is that easy like we just halfway completed the room in less than a minute two minutes you know just by putting marquee tools and i mean marquee rectangle tools and just filling them but um yeah it's it's, it's really not much to it um just be precise with your selections i would say um and just play around with it have some fun um i'm trying to see what did i type for this i typed add ceiling to wall with lights um, did I get what I was looking for? No, <laughs> but what I got was good. So I can't really complain at the end of the day. Like this is all pretty much free work. If I will want, if I was to do this outside of using the AI tool, I would have to go into Blender or some type of 3D software, model this out myself, get the lighting and everything right in there, then bring it in to here. You know, it's just it's way too much. For something that's just going to be, you know, put up on a channel, you know, just something that's quick, you know, um, there's a place for everything. And I think, you know, this will serve as a good placeholder for your YouTube videos and things like that. Like I mentioned earlier, earlier, I know I'm rambling, but I'm trying to keep this fast and just show you how to do it at the same time. But yes, yeah, it's, it's that simple. It's really that simple. I know I said I wasn't going to cut, but I promise you guys I didn't do anything in between me cutting that last clip and the beginning of this one. Um, I just didn't realize how hard that was going to be to try to get my thoughts together and show you guys this. But I'm going to keep working on that because I kind of think that will create um, some dope content for the future. But um, I made the cut because I was trying to remember if I told you guys something. Um, and I still don't remember if I did or not, but we're just going to keep, keep it moving along. And one thing I wanted to tell you um, for your final result, and then we're going to be wrapping up this video. I don't want to make this video too long. You are going to have to produce a template that looks something like this. Well, you don't have to. I made my final template look something like this. And the way that I did this was to basically just the same way that I was doing a generative field. You could actually select yourself and probably, you know, type in remove 
or something like that. I didn't do it that way. I just selected uh, selected the area that I was sitting in and I did a content aware um, and I just selected the wall to fill that space. So as you can see, um, that didn't really matter because what I ended up doing was placing the footage over top of this anyway. So, I mean, that's just something to keep in mind for if you want to get a little bit more creative in the future and just do things that you could use the content aware to in conjunction with the new AI tool to make some pretty dope spaces. So, um, yeah, that's just going to wrap up the video for today. I hope that you guys really um, paid attention and like uh, really soaked up the information that was in this video because, like I mentioned earlier, um, this tool is here to help us. It's not here to run us out of business or to make us feel down about our creations. It's here to help us create more efficient um, and just create dope work. So imagine how much more you can do when you when this is done in its final stage. You know, like I'm already seeing great signs of it. I'm already seeing the things that they're implementing and then it's still in the beta stage. So once it really take off and be what it's supposed to be, I think that um, we will be ahead of the curve and we're going to, you know, create some dope content. So with that being said, I'm not going to hold you guys longer. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see y'all in the next video.